Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well. So for my channeled message readings, it does not matter what your sign is. Anyone, regardless of your gender, regardless of your zodiac sign, may resonate with this message. But I do ask that you only take what resonates and leave what does not. Please do not force anything to resonate with you if you believe that it's not for you. You're always welcome to watch my other readings here on my channel. Um, I do keep my readings pretty specific and detailed, so you'll be able to know, you know, if this message is for you. Um, but yeah, enough of me talking. <laughs> Let's get started. Remember, the cards represents energies that any gender can embody, okay? All righty message reading wow you do have a message you have the ten of wands clarify this ten of wands so the ten of wands talks about burdens it talks about past baggage okay ace of cups and the king of swords so okay someone here is really is really feeling the weight of the relationship or the connection they're really feeling that weight on their shoulder um this person is a king of swords male or female but this is a masculine energy but it could be carried by a male or female okay um, King of Swords, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is simply someone who is carrying a very um, serious energy, like a serious minded person. That's who the King of Swords is. This is not someone who plays around. They're very intelligent. They're very serious. This is someone who's very blunt, um, thorough, detailed, straightforward. Um, you know, the King of Swords, this could be a professional, okay? Um, the King of Swords does have the ability to be far more logical than emotional. So this is someone who does have a cold side, who can be quite brutal, okay, when they're upset, or they can just simply detach. The King of Swords is not an emotionally expressive person, okay? You never know what's really going on in the King of Swords' mind because they always, King of Swords always has a poker face. So that's the that's some details about who this person is so you can see if this is someone who you know um, or this could be you it's not always the other person it could be you who i'm picking up on mm -hmm. but um yeah that's the king of swords now the ace of cups came out as well when we clarify the ten of wands the ace of cups talks about um this is this is a this is the helping hand of the Most High. That's how I always see my aces because you never see the person, but you see the hand coming from the sky. Even this beautiful dove, the communion, the cup, the offer, the opportunity, the grants, overflow, overflowing with blessings, opportunities, anointings. So for me, the Ace of Cups, I see this as, you know, a divine opportunity, a divine grant, a new beginning, or it could even sometimes be a second chance that someone has been praying, wishing, and hoping for. And I feel like that's what this King of Swords has been doing. This King of Swords has really been praying, asking the divine to grant them another, another wish, another chance with you. I do feel like this is something that this person has been praying for. I don't know how religious or spiritual this individual is, but I do feel like they're asking for divine help. They're asking for uh, the Most High to step in on their behalf. This connection has taken a great toll on this King of Swords. I mean, this is the maximum burdens and worries, right? That that you know someone could could ever carry. It's really heavily weighing on them. Let's see what's going. Yeah, look on the back of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. They are wanting this second chance with you so badly. This person wants, they are willing to commit. They are willing, this person expresses their love very differently. I don't feel like they're verbally expressive about their emotions, but I feel like this is someone where you would most likely have to look at their actions, which is very good because anyone can just speak and tell you what, what you want to hear. Always look at their actions as well. Um, but I don't, I just don't feel like this is someone who's like lovey-dovey, but 
when they love you, you will see it through their actions. And I actually feel like the more they love you, the more stoic and detached they like to be because they don't like to express their, they don't like to express their emotions. But I do believe that this person sees you as their ideal person and they want that stability. The Ace of Pentacles, Pentacles are all about rewards, value, the abundance, the success, the stability and the security. They don't just want another chance with you, but I feel like they want a new beginning as well with you. Um, tell us more. Why are they feeling so burdened with the Ten of Wands here? They could feel that like they're running out of time. I do feel like this person can feel you like emotionally and energetically detaching. Ten of Wands. Not Ten of Wands. Why did I say Wands? Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me. So Ten of Pentacles. It's the ideal life that everyone wants. You know, that that life of great success, stability, and security. Ten of Pentacles is also a big generational wealth card. And you have the Three of Pentacles. They feel like they're running out of time because they see that you're really, really stable. You must be, if this reading is for you, you must be someone who really has it together. And you could actually be establishing a Ten of Pentacles by yourself. So they want to come in and collaborate with you. Three of Pentacles is a big collaboration card. And even behind the Three of Pentacles, you have the Six of Pentacles, which is all about balance, equal give and take, reciprocity. They want to work with you. They want to meet you halfway. They want to be a part of your Ten of Pentacles. They feel like you've already really gotten your life together, like you're far ahead. Or they feel like you're ahead they don't want you to get any more ahead of them because they want to come in and work with you on this ten of pentacles that you've been establishing yeah that's what it is that's what's worrying them with the ten of wands is you have progressed definitely past this person you've progressed two of swords let me see clarify the two of swords clarify the two of swords One second, you guys. One second. Ooh, my eyes are itchy. Okay. <laughs> that feels so good. I just had to rub my eyes. Okay. Two of Swords. The Empress. Hmm. Tell us more about the Two of Swords. This person feels that you're not very confident in them. I, you know, they know that you don't have the best impression of them. They feel like they have not shown you their greatest skills. King of Swords is extremely intelligent, but they feel like you haven't seen that side to them. You haven't seen their serious side. This person could have been very immature. Um, I don't know what side you saw to this person, but you definitely didn't see their mature, intelligent, and professional side. Clarify the Two of Swords. So they feel like you would, they feel like you're not very certain about them. Two of Swords is all about being at crossroads, being on the fence. Clarify the Two of Swords. They may feel like you don't really know what you want with them. Clarify the Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords strength yeah they want you to be patient with them that's the thing and to just i feel like this person wants you to be patient they want you to just give them a, a, another chance this person is really feeling like um they're projecting a little bit they feel like you wouldn't even give them the time of the day like you don't really have the best impression of them you know they just i feel like they, they they really could have messed up though that's the thing because the knight of cups is someone who has a very friendly kind or even sometimes sometimes a romantic gesture knight of cups is really someone who wants to you know make amends give you an offer to make amends and move things forward but um 
they feel like you just wouldn't give them the time of the day and it's probably because of something that they did most likely there's a reason for everything right i mean you're in your empress energy regardless of your gender you're in your empress energy the empress knows their worth the empress knows their worth the empress is um this is someone who's often put on a on a on a pedestal looked up to you know the empress is very um loving kind um nurturing I feel like that's what they want from you. They do want your loving, kind, and nurturing side. They do want you to pay attention or to give them attention. They want you to give them a chance. That's the thing. Yeah. They want you to give them a chance. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. Um, the lovers and the page of swords. Okay. So the lovers is all about choices. It could represent a soulmate connection where two people are being brought together for a significant reason. And the page of swords, this is all about communication. I do feel like this person's open to talking to you, but I say this all the time, whoever did wrong needs to make the initiation. You can't do someone wrong make a mistake and not take accountability for it and just expect them to to reach out, you know? I kind of feel like they want you to reach out, interesting enough. They want you to, to nurture them. They want you to love them. They want you to give them attention. They want you to be patient with them and give them a chance. Um, clarify this page of swords. The high priestess and three of pentacles. Yeah, they... High Priestess is all-knowing. All, all uh, High Priestess is all-knowing, intuitive, spiritual, very wise and insightful. Knows things that other people really don't know. Three of Pentacles is a collaboration. They want to know what you know. I feel like this person wants to reach out to you so badly and talk to you they could even be spying on you because page of swords is a spying card it's also it could also be a, a social media card like communicating from a distance where you would need to use the phone or use social media to connect with you this person they want to be in your life so bad like not just because you're successful and you're working towards something very great or you live a very great life but I also feel like they want you to, you're like a mystery. They want to hear your insight. They want to be a part of your life. They want the two of you to affiliate with each other. They want to work with you, collaborate with you. They want you to share your knowledge, share your insight. Maybe this is someone who is not open to your insight. You know, high priest is, like I said, all knowing. Some of you may even be um, very spiritually gifted. So you know some things that other people don't know, but they want to they want to learn from you. They want there to be like this coming together. Um, I feel like they they also they also know that the two of you were meant to work together. That's why the lovers is here. They may know that you are their soulmate, even if they don't know about soulmates or, you know, they just know that you're someone who is significant you're someone who was sent to sent into their life for a reason and that the two of you are meant to work together hmm this person is waking up to who you are look ten of cups mm-hmm Ten of Cups is a happily ever after. Ten of Cups is a big family card. Even if the two of you don't end up together romantically, they understand that you are their Ten of Cups. They understand that you are meant to be in their life, whether romantically or platonically. They understand that. They want to be in your life. They want to talk to you. They want to be friends. They want to, you know, they want to get you involved in their life. Why are they feeling this way? Maybe this person has had a change of change of mind, change of heart. Ugh, Ten of Cups came out again. I mean, 
why are they feeling this way? Because they see you as their happily ever after. This person, you may have a family with them or they envision a family with you. Two of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. In the upright is someone who's trying to get a sense of direction. They may feel like they already know what the two of you are or what the two of you are meant to do. Hold on. Clarify the two of Wands. Yeah. They're not indecisive. They don't need to get a sense of direction. With you is where they belong. You are home. You are home to them. Um, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a passionate beginning. Yep. Wow. Two of Wands. This person's like, I don't need to look anywhere else. I don't need to look at the other path paths that I can take. I don't need to make a decision. This is who I belong. There's no no one else. This is not a choice for them. You are the on, the one and only. So they don't have any other options, any, any other choices. They're not looking elsewhere. You are home to this person. For many of you, they could have strayed away from you, but I mean, they're back at square one looking right back at you, wanting to come in. What needs to be known about this person, this king of swords? What needs to be known about them? Let me see. Page of Pentacles. That they want to talk. <laughs> Page of Pentacles talks about messages, communication, relaying information, that they have something valuable to say, that they are very passionate. Whatever they want to say, there's a lot of passion and determination behind it. On the back of the deck, Queen of Wands is all about passion. This is a defender, a protector, a warrior, someone who's confident. Um, they have something to say. What do they want to say with this Page of Pentacles? What do they want to say with this page of pentacles? What do they want to say? The sun, that they see things clearly now. They've had this big revelation. You know, the sun is healing, enlightenment. You know, the sun is something being illuminated, something being brought to light, happiness, fulfillment, growth, expansion, fertility. You know, the five of pentacles is here. The five of pentacles, they no longer want to be in the cold or they no longer want to keep you in the cold. They no longer want to keep you out of their life is what I just heard. So there was definitely some coldness and distance between the two of you. There was definitely a breakup here. They want their they want healing between the both of you. Eight of Swords, what do they want to say that they were, this person struggled a lot. I feel like they faced a lot of like inner turmoil because the Eight of Swords is being stuck, stuck in your head, being in a mental prison, not being able to see things, things clearly, or maybe it was their ego. Something here was just keeping them in a very low space or a low vibration where they were not seeing things very clearly. And so it made them unable to make good decisions. Um, the Seven of Wands is here. Okay, the Seven of Wands talks about someone who is very defensive. Someone, I, I kind of feel like they could have fought, they could have pushed you away, fought against you, but it was actually themselves. Like whatever they projected onto you was how they were feeling about themselves. This person has come to a place of healing. If they were resisting you, they were actually resisting a part of themselves, but it's like they just piled it onto you they projected it onto you it was an inner turmoil that they were facing but you could have been around or you could have been trying to come towards them or make things right but it just was not a good time so they just kind of pushed it onto you tell us more about this eight of swords and the seven of wands they just was not in a good space to hear you out to be rational at all Yeah, they were feeling 
betrayed with the with the ten of swords that's why they were unable to understand you um they were unable to listen to understand they could have been listening to respond you know people do that when they're upset and defensive um what was this betrayal about with the ten of swords they're they're rational now that's why they're that king of swords they're they're now mentally stable you know they're mentally healthy they're balanced enough to see things clearly to hear the truth you know to have a good understanding of the situation yeah it was all a misunderstanding it was all a misunderstanding they felt very backstabbed ten of swords is the ultimate betrayal the moon represents um secrets one second the moon represents secrets something that's hidden i don't feel like they were seeing i don't feel like they were seeing something right here the both of you were not on the same page what was this betrayal about with the moon let me see something here and they were harboring their feelings they were harboring these feelings of a, of, of a betrayal they were not expressing them so it just really they were not in a good space king of cups yeah that's how they felt but why did they feel betrayed what happened here four of swords they thought that you were betraying them they i'm hearing that they thought you betrayed their love this is someone who was in love with you or still is in love with you with the king of cups deeply deeply emotional and king of cups can be easily triggered when he's upset so when he felt like you were betraying them, but they were not seeing things clearly. So they misunderstood something and thought it was a betrayal. Look, four of swords. Oh, this person was broken. They were hurt. The four of swords is contemplation. It's like when you think so much, when you're so deeply in your head that you become mentally exhausted. They were just, they're, they were clouded like, their entire mind was just like blurry and it was cloudy or crowded, you know, by emotions. It's hard for you to be reasonable when you're extremely emotional. And the King of Cups is extremely emotional. It's hard for you to see things clearly and understand things rightfully when you are deeply in your feelings. They were not in a good state. They were heartbroken. Why was, what was this heartbreak about? Yeah, they, they were, de I feel like this person was facing depression. The hermit is when you isolate healing, recovery, self-discovery. Self -discovery. This was, this person was, they were hurt. They were in pain over this. What did they think that you did? What did they think that, what did they think happened that hurt them this badly? The devil, mm. The devil is someone who's very toxic, obsessive, possessive, controlling. Queen of Swords is here. Tell us more about the devil. What did they think happened that caused them to be so, you know, disheveled? What do they think? What happened here? Clarify the devil. emperor i feel like this is another person's energy i feel like um could be a third party who is a who's carrying the energy of a devil very karmic and they carry a very masculine energy as an emperor emperor is all about a natural leader taking charge taking control so there is a third party interference um that queen of swords could be that third party Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy. They also carry the devil energy. This person can be very toxic, obsessive, abusive, possessive, just low vibrational and, and very controlling. They like to be in charge. What did this third party do? What did this third party do? Eight of Wands. Oh, this is... um gossip 
Eight of Wands is gossip. What is this? This third party has a Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords, very sharp, very intelligent, but can be very cold and heartless. Queen of Wands, confident, fiery, likes to be victorious, you know, um, very attractive, you know, has great sex appeal. There's a messy third party here. And the Eight of Wands is like communication, a swift communication. I wonder if this is like gossip rumors that were being spread. Clarify that. Yeah, this. Oh, my gosh. Three of Cups. <sighs> third party. Yeah, Three of Cups. This is no celebration. Three of Cups is typically a celebration, but it's not in this case. I feel like this is more so of a third party getting involved. This could have been, this third party could have been a mutual friend or someone who is mutually connected. We'll, we'll look more into this. <sighs> but judgment is here. There was some sort of message, some sort of information that was relayed to your person. And look, judgment. Judgment is a final decision. It caused your person to make some, some strong judgments against you and on this relationship to just kind of drop you, drop this relationship Hold on, clarify judgment. This is so unfair, but you know what? The truth, the truth prevails. The truth always comes to light. Trust me. Liars are always exposed eventually with time. Yeah, this is a queen of wands that did this. Let me see. Six of pentacles. Knight of swords. Hold on. Who is the Queen of Wands here? Let me see something. Clarify the judgment. Clarify the judgment. Clarify judgment. Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? Knight of Wands. Just messy. This is a messy, messy person. This is someone who is very reckless. Knight of Wands, immature, unstable, flighty, reckless. Um, this may be someone, Knight of Pentacles, who is successful, has money or some sort of materialistic gain or some sort of success. Um... They did this because they wanted to get chosen, is what I'm hearing. Judgment. It made your person, yeah, this is a third party. It made your person make a decision about you, but it made your person choose them. Seven of Cups is weighing their options. Yep, they got exactly what they wanted. The star is uh, wish fulfillment. So they felt like they would get chosen if they could get you out of the picture. Because your person has options or they had options in love. That's why they did that. It was to it was really to manipulate your person into choosing them over you. But it was through manip it was through heavy manipulation and sabotaging. Because they presented something to your person, some information to your person that was not the truth. It was false information. But, and it caused your person to see 
you negatively, but to see them positively, to see them as the better choice, and boom, wish fulfillment. That's how they got your person. Wow. This is someone who likes to win. Queen of Wands is all about winning. That's why when she, when he or she is low vibrational, they can be very forceful. You know, um, they will go to just extreme extents to get what they want. That's what the the, the Queen of Wands. When she's low vibrational, she gets temperamental. Um, a negative Queen of Wands temperamental, competitive, even has a promiscuous side, likes to be seductive to get what they want. Um, this queen of wands at a low vibration does not like to, to take no as an answer. So honestly, what I'm hearing from this queen of wands is they did what they felt was needed to be done. This queen of wands has an air placement, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're fiery and airy. They're very strategic and calculated. Not to say the queen of swords is a bad person, not to say that air signs are bad people, but it's just the energy where this person uses, because air signs are extremely intelligent. So when you have someone who is using their mind and being strategic, but for all the right for, for all the wrong reasons, they come out as a queen of swords because it's showing that they were using their intelligence to be very cunning to get their way. Yeah, to get victory through deceit. Mm -hmm. This person is ruthless. The knight of swords. Oh, yeah, this person is messy, very impulsive. Let me see what the six of pentacles is saying. The thing is, yeah, they wanted, they wanted to be, let me see. They wanted to get chosen. They wanted, this is like a pick me. <laughs> pick me, I would do this, I would do this and that, I'm better, pick me. They, with the six of pentacles, it's all about balance, fairness. They did, yeah, they felt like they did what was right. In their, in their mind, they don't believe that what they did was wrong because they needed to get their way. Like, that's just how this person thinks. They're very, very, they use their intelligence to be cunning. That's why they embody that Queen of Swords energy along with their Queen of Wands energy. Um, yeah, they did what they believe was fair. What would, what would get your person to give them the offer? What would get your person to choose them? Yeah, look, Eight of Cups walking away, walking away from an investment. Everything that your person built with you, that the two of you established, they just walked away from you and gave the offer to the Queen of Wands. They stopped building with you and gave the offer to the Queen of Wands. Oh yeah, that's exactly what she wanted through trickery, the magician. Page of Wands is good news. She, she did all of that to get your person to be a Page of Cups to her. Page of Cups is someone who has um, admiration, who has an offer, especially an offer, a romantic offer to her. Wow. Messy. One second, you guys. Very, very messy. I mean, has the truth come out? Yeah, the truth has come out. I'm pretty sure this King of Swords knows. The King of Swords knows the truth. Does the King of Swords know the truth, the Wheel of Fortune? If he doesn't in due time, he will. I do feel like he knows the truth, though, with the Wheel of Fortune. That karmic debt, the karmic cycle is over. Hold on, seven of swords on the back of the deck. He did know, he does know the truth, or she does know the truth. Wheel of fortune is a karmic wheel. What goes around comes back around. You either have fortune or misfortune. It really just depends on what you did in the past. I feel like with due time, the universe revealed the truth. Your person with, with due time, your person was able to see the truth. 
because your person watched you live such a good and I'm not to say you weren't hurt but I feel like your person saw all the blessings that you were getting and all the blessings that they were not getting and that their person that queen of wands messy third party was not getting so it was quite clear who who he needs to be with and that's why I tell people don't don't you know I know it's hurtful when people lie and and when people are cunning and deceptive and they try to play you and be corrupt but trust me karma is real god i always tell people as long as god sees everything no one can get away with anything with due timing the truth always comes out and the ones who believe the lies and the schemes they were not good for you in the first place they were not worthy enough to even hear your insight or hear your side of the story and those are the ones who who become very regretful you know of not believing you of not being on your side you know they eventually realized that they were the ones who took a loss that you're the one who got away like they are the ones who end up feeling very guilty once the truth comes out you know um it's not your problem trust me trust me it's not your problem in that case take your pride and dignity and just separate yourself from situations like that because it can be very draining and heartbreaking but i assure you i promise you you will always get vindicated. People with good intentions always get the last laugh in the end. I assure you that. And, and sometimes schemes like that has to occur in your life so that you can see who really are the loyal ones, who really are the smart, intelligent ones who value you above the lies, the gossips, the smearing, you know, the, the, the name smearing. It opens your eyes to see who is really for you all along because the truth is people believe what they want to believe. If people believe lies, that means they already had some sort of resentment or animosity towards you in the first place and they were just waiting for an actual reason or excuse to go against you or to, you know, separate from you. Let it go, you know. Because with due timing, look, Wheel of Fortune, everything came out. The Three of Wands is in the reverse. Three of Wands in the upright is waiting for your ships to sail in. This person knows that they went down the wrong path. They went towards the wrong person because none of their manifestations came in. None of their manifestations. Look, Seven of Swords. They made the wrong choice. They know it. They know it. Clarify the Seven of Swords. That's why now they want, they see a clear path and that path is towards you. The seven of swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. They got caught up. Your person got their karma as well. And the ace of swords is the truth and clarity that the only good path that they should have taken was the path towards you. And now they know it. Didn't I say that when we, didn't I, um, I said that when we looked at the two of wands, when it came out in the reverse and I was like, this person sees no other path, but the path that will lead them towards you because the other paths that they took led them to nothing. Ace of swords, the truth and clarity. This liar, this third party could not get anywhere with the lies. Maybe they did for a little bit, but it didn't really go far. The lies, the gossip, the deceit did not go far um, because they got caught. Seven of Swords is doing something sneaky and not wanting to get caught. Ace of Swords is the helping hand of the Most High coming in to bring the truth and clarity. That's what the Ace of Swords is, truth and clarity. So this person... Yeah, look, the Hierophant in the reverse, whoa. This person is not seen in a good light. Five of Cups is regrets, crying over spilled milk. Hierophant, it's hard seeing the Hierophant in the reverse, y'all. One second, you guys. Let me plug this in. It's hard seeing the Hierophant in the reverse because typically the Hierophant in the upright, it's someone who is looked up to, an advisor, a counselor, you know, um, People seek the Hierophant for like guidance. The Hierophant is a godly person. Um, this person in the reverse carries a God complex. That's how people view them. That is the impression that people have of them because of what they did to you. Like, I feel like this person could even, their name could be spreading as well. 
because I see the lies and the plots against you did not go very far like how they wanted it to. They wanted the lies to go far. They wanted your reputation to be ruined. They wanted to cause a mess, a disaster. It didn't though. Through the helping hand of the Most High, um, karma brought you justice, vindication. You're, you've been vindicated already. This is whoever this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, this karmic third party is. It's kind of like they actually just hurt themselves by trying to hurt you. There's this really negative image that is stuck on this person now because of what they did. They have this God complex. They're very sneaky, calculated, you know, but they're not God. That's why they have to use manipulation to get what they want because they have no real power. Um, look here, five of cups, regrets, crying over spilled, uh, crying over spilled milk. Um, clarify the heart font in the reverse. Yeah, I, I can't make this up, you guys. Justice. See? Justice. They were not able to cause the injustice that they really thought they were able to. Justice is all about fairness and balance. That negative image that they wanted to stick on you and get people to see you a certain way no that's how they're being seen and that's just karmic justice what you set out for others happens to you the traps that they set for you they step in it the hole they dug for you they fall in it this person has a really bad reputation actually this person could have they i just heard dismissed they've been dismissed perhaps people don't really want to affiliate with them maybe this is someone who used to be well known popular not anymore Look, five of wands. Because they wanted to play God and they are not and they never will be. Five of wands is the conflict, the drama, the chaos. This person started lies and rumors. I feel like they could have told your person something. They It was some sort of messy drama that they caused. And some misinformation was sent to your person just messy man people don't have lives clarify some people do not have a life like who has the time to do that clarify the five of wands they sat there and plotted a whole scheme the ace of pentacles yeah people are actually i actually feel like people are um hold on let me get another card something's going on with this queen of wands karma is definitely following her What's going on here with the Five of Wands? The Fool. The Fool is a risk taker. There's the tower that almost came out. Clarify the Five of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Strength. I think you're the Ace of Pentacles. I think you're the Ace of Pentacles. This person tried to try to go to war. The Hangman. Wow, you're the Ace of Pentacles. I've never seen that where a person comes out as an Ace of Pentacles. It's like you're this great big blessing here of stability, you know, reward, value, security, success. You're the Ace of Pentacles. You're the great big blessing that they tried to go to war with. What? And they most likely got annihilated for doing that. Because when I clarify the Ace of Pentacles, look, the strength, overcoming difficulties, you were able to let go of it. You were able, the hangman, you're the prize, you're the blessing. You overcame it. 
It was harsh, it was painful, but you overcame it, you let it go. The hangman is all, all about surrendering and releasing. You move things forward. The Six of Swords, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. This person, though, really made it bad for themselves. I feel like you chose to not even fight with this Queen of Wands. They, I mean, this person went to far, ex far extremes. I'm telling you, that's why it backfired. They, um, they could have even gotten other people to get involved in this and to go against you, but I feel like it backfired. They were taking some risks here with the Fool doing things without thinking first knight of swords they were being very impulsive knight of wands this reckless ruthless energy here they were just like they were doing too much they were doing too much and that's why they got completely demolished look right when i said demolished ten of swords the ultimate betrayal I'm telling you, the trap they set out for you, they walked right in it. Some of the people who they went to to lie to you and stuff, those people end up turning on them. Yeah, I can't make this up. Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords. They have heavy fire and air in their charts. Or they embody these energies because they're very competitive. They want to be forcefully victorious. They are very cunning. They're very cunning. Yeah, that's why they're embodying this energy. Terrify the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. by the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Temperance, Balance, Harmony, Peace, Contentment. Let me see what's going on here. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here? The Magician. Someone who's crafty, skilled, a manifester. Hold on, I'm trying to understand something here. The lovers. Seven of Pentacles. Don't tell me this person's doing something again. Because the Ten of Cups, happily ever after, it's it could also be a big family card, like settling down, marriage, having children. I think this person had their own agendas with your person. They had their own motives, like a hidden motive. That's why when you came in the picture, they really tried to just get rid of you completely. What is their motive here? Because the magician, this person is very crafty. This is what they wanted with your person, a Ten of Cups, this happily ever after, this family life. That was what they were manifesting. Yeah, the lovers, they wanted to get chosen. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is you reap what you sow. Seven of Pentacles is like when you persistently pursue something to get that particular outcome that you want. And the temperance, let me see, clarified temperance. This person is extremely, the reason why they keep on, this is no shade to air signs. Y'all are just very brilliant-minded people. So when a negative person is being cunning, strategic, calculated, they tend to come out as that queen of swords. Clarified temperance. They had, they did this because they felt like you were going to mess up their plan I'm telling you, but the fact that you were in this picture, you could have, that protected your person. They had some sort of like, this is like an evil mastermind here, I feel. Look, Eight of Pentacles work, working on something, putting something together, orchestrating, planning, plotting. You protected this person in some way, shape, or form when you came in the picture. Clarify the temperance. 
Let me see something here. Clarify the temperance. Holy Spirit, please bring more clarity. Clarify the temperance. The sun. If the temperance is, is balance, fairness, I mean, balance, harmony, contentment, peace, alignment, and the sun is, this person could have wanted a child because the sun, I usually don't see the sun as like pregnancy and babies, but it is a fertility card. Um, oh, this person wanted some sort of inheritance, I feel. Six of Pentacles. This is a greedy. Mm, I was about to. Y'all know I don't cuss on my channel. They wanted some sort of gain. There's something here that this this is someone who is very very strategic, extremely calculated, extremely ca calculated. Like this person premeditates everything that they do. They could have even done their best to get very close to your person's family. There is money in your person's family. They, Your person may not look like someone who has money. They may be very humble. Someone, a relative, a relative in your person's family has money. That's what they wanted to get close to. They wanted to get paid. They wanted money. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun. You blocked it. Your presence, you being in this person's life, protected them immensely. This could have been someone who tried to get pregnant several times, but your energy was so heavy, or you and this person's bond was so heavy that they could not manifest a child. You blocked this person's person in so many ways whether you know it or not hmm clarify the sun you were the blockage all along because you were but you're a good blockage because this is an evil person here clarify the sun let me see Someone, I'm telling you, Queen of Wands, they want a they want a baby, they want a child, they want to inherit the money. Ten of Cups is a big family card. This person could have even went to the far extent to like do something with their fertility to make them to make themselves fertile, and the Queen of Wands is here. It has to do with bearing a child. The sex could have been a lot between the two of them, but I don't see a child though. I don't believe that there is a child. Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. Communication, spying, gossips. Let me see. Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords. Hold on. I'm getting something. Whew. Hold on, you guys. I'm getting hot. I'm fanning myself with the cards. <laughs> I got hot all of a sudden. Um... I think he knows this this male here clarify the page of swords this is an undercover gold digger clarify the page of swords there is money in this man's family it may not be directly for him maybe he has a relative with the money Lots of money. The devil. 
the tower. Oh my gosh, y'all. When I tell you this, whether this is a woman or a man, this is a wicked, evil person. I just feel like the plan here, their dirty deeds, the plan all along was to get some sort of like, I'm hearing something about a contract. It was some, something with deeds, deeds, contract. Because the devil is someone who's really seduced by the material world. Um, so this is this is a low down, dirty person. They would do anything for money, for material gain. Very obsessive. They will do anything for money, literally anything. Y'all, be patient with me. I'm seeing something here. Please be patient with me. I think they did something behind this man's back. Look at, I can't make this up. The tower is a reveal. Secrets coming out, truths being exposed, whatever was kept in the dark coming to light. The seven of swords is a sneaky person. I always say that. Sneaky, shady, scandalous. Doing something sneaky and not wanting to get caught. Look, all for money. King of Pentacles, all for money. There's, there, there is more to this. There is this, this is just dirty. It's a scheme, it's, it's dirty. Terrify the devil. One of this man's relatives has money. Clarify the devil. If it's not him, it's a relative of his who has, look, Ace of Swords wanted to come out. The truth and clarity. Yep. And they were looking forward to getting this money. I don't know. They wanted marriage. And let me tell you, if they would have gotten this happily happily ever after they would have gotten that ten of cups of marrying this person and having a child i feel like they would have done something to get rid of him to inherit the money this is just this man who's connected to this third party this third party is literally the devil in disguise this is his worst enemy and he didn't even know the chariot it's like, this is sick. If the two of them, this could have been someone who, this third party could have really tried to get married, tried to have a child. I see a lot about fertility here, but your energy blocked that from happening. You have some sort of mystical, powerful, magical energy. This person could not manifest a 10 of cups with your person because you were in the picture. This is someone who just wanted to use your person, get money and leave your person out in the cold or even worse, once they get married and have a kid, they would have tried to get rid of your person. Because once your person's out of the picture, they would inherit the money. Your person is someone who's gonna inherit some money here from a relative. Low, just low down dirty. Clarify the seven of swords. This third party could be anyone. A relative, if it's a relative, it's a sibling who's this third party. And they may have not wanted you and your person to get together and have a family because it would be, they would get that inheritance. Y'all's family would get that inheritance if it's a relative. If it's a lover, another lover, then they definitely wanted to get pregnant. They wanted a family or something here. I clarify the seven. It's some sort of payout. I'm telling you. I, I heard it the first time when I looked at the Six of Pentacles. It's a payout. They wanted money. 
this is like, there's more to this. Look, page of pentacles. They wanted money. Seven of cups offers. They wanted opportunities. That's the big secret. That's some sort of payout. What is this payout about? Justice. This is crazy. You were in this person's life, that lovers, the two of you were brought together for a significant reason because there's a dirty hidden, hidden scheme that needs to be exposed. You were brought into this person's life. I feel like your energy, when someone connects, connects to you energetically, your energy protects them and blocks them from negative people, negative things, negative manifestations. Your energy literally blesses people. That's why you, you came out as that Ace of Pentacles. You are the blessing. You are the gift to the world. And anyone who is affiliated with you, they are under your light. They are under your protection. That's why when this third party tried to gossip, lie, whatever, it didn't even manifest. It did not go far. And it actually backfired on them. There is a, this person is just, there's more to this, especially with the justice. This could have to do with legal, with legalities. Or the justice is saying they wanted to get away with an injustice, but when you came in the picture, it did not happen. Clarify the, the, the seven of swords. It could have been a situation if it's a lover where the two of them were together, then you came in the picture. Just you, what I'm saying is everyone's story is different. What I'm saying is you coming in the picture from day one, this person was never going to manifest the negative things that they wanted on your person because you're in the picture. Four of swords in the reverse. Ten of swords. This person did not get the work done. Ten of swords is a betrayal. Look, Five of Swords is defeat, a lack of success. When the plan backfires, that's what a Five of Swords is. This could have been a group effort with the Three of Cups. Like someone had it out for this man and this third party was a part of it. Something like that. The Four of Swords, the Four of Swords in the upright is contemplation. Clarify the four of swords in the reverse. It's laying, it could be laying something to rest or having a hard time laying something to rest. Five of wands is here. Clarify the four of swords in the reverse. Page of cups. King of pentacles and the five of cups. I feel like... I feel like this is like I this is like some <laughs> this could be a movie I feel like um whoever this third party is I kind of feel like it was a group effort though like someone was paying them to do this or they were to receive some sort of payout this page of cups clarify this page of cups ace of wands this passionate beginning two of cups two of cups is a partnership See, nine of pentacles. This all has to do with success, money, accomplishments.
What is this regret about with the Five of Cups? Tell us about this Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles because they're facing judgment. The plan was not successful. The plan was not successful. They tried it for a long time too. Clarify the Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth and clarity. They've been exposed. Everything's been brought to light. But I feel like this third party is facing some major consequences because she was not or he was not successful in accomplishing this mission here and getting the money. Six of Wands, victory. Clarify the Six of Wands. This is a group activity. I don't know if it was her family that put her up to this. It's either her, it's either her family or some sort of coven. Clarify the Hierophant. Nine of Wands and the Three of Wands. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Three of Wands, waiting for their ships to settle in. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, Three of Cups. They've been left out in the cold. Whoever gave them this idea, I feel like someone gave them the idea to do this. I don't know if this is a family, a group of friends, but I feel like they've been left out in the cold because they're fighting amongst themselves with the five of wands over this news, page of cups. It just, the plan did not follow through. And they're here, nine of wands, wounded warrior, feeling defensive, paranoid. They've been left all by themselves. Um, Ten of Wands, they're burdened, they're stressed, they're worried. Two of Swords, they don't know what to do. They may be on the fence about something here. I, I feel like, look, Three of Cups, this is a group activity. This is... <sighs> Clarify the Emperor. Wheel of Fortune. Emperor of Death. Where is this Emperor? Tell us more about this Emperor. Tell us more. I'm like using all the decks in this card. <laughs> I'm using all the decks. Let me see. Use my other deck. Tell us about this Emperor. Clarify the Emperor. Eight of Wands. Clarify this Emperor. They could be this Emperor. Let me see. King of Pentacles. Clarify this Emperor Strength. Wait. This is a father figure. Who is this emperor? Show us who this emperor is. Or if this is your person. Who is this emperor? Who is this emperor? Hold on. Prince of Cups. 
this emperor is your person. Yeah, king of swords, bingo. The emperor is your person. I just need to make sure. But the thing is, let me see, clarify the wheel of fortune, clarify the wheel of fortune. The magician, six of wands. Things are gonna go in his favor. Death is an ending, death is transformation. Yeah, ace of swords, the truth and clarity. He's gonna get the heck out of here. Whatever this situation is, I definitely feel like you are this person's lucky charm. Like, if you had not entered this man's life or this woman's life, things would not have turned out for like this for him because the wheel of fortune is in the upright. So he's he's going to be able to get the heck out of this karmic situation that he's in. And it's because you manifested him. The magician is manifestation. It came out when we clarified the will of fortune. The will of fortune says you either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune. I'm telling you, you are this great big blessing. Whoever has you in their life gets gets this protection, gets this favor as well. You manifested someone out of a really bad situation. Six of Wands is victory. The death is an ending. The death is transformations. Look, because the truth was brought to light. Ace of Swords, truth and clarity. Eight of Cups, walking away from an investment. This is some sort of dirty scheme. Other people were involved. Temperance, balance, harmony, peace, contentment, and the Ace of Cups, this new beginning here. That's why they're just looking at you. That is why, if you remember in the very beginning of this reading, I was like, they're not looking at any other paths. Only the one that will lead them towards you. No more being indecisive about you, being on the fence, being at crossroads. They see it very, very clearly now. Who really had good intentions for them this entire time. Wow, this was one heck of a story. Yeah, King of Swords, this person sees, King of Swords is all about the truth and clarity. He sees the truth. He knows the truth. And he's making executive decisions because of the truth. He's balanced. He's stable. He's understanding everything now. I'm going to end this, this reading here. What a reading this was. It was very long, but I do hope that I gave someone out there some good details and clarity and, and, and a confirmation. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. You're always welcome to um, visit my website. I have... Um, links in the description box so if you guys want to submit prayer requests if you want to donate to support the channel more if you guys want to connect with my highly recommended psychic advisors everything's going to be in the description box okay you guys so um thank you all so much for your support thank you for tuning in um don't forget to like comment and subscribe to support my channel please take care be safe be blessed